not coming. Well, you found her? I did, but it was too late. She's already in police custody. I'm sorry, Eugene. Shift's about to happen. We should get going. Then it's time I bid you adieu. We'll check on the others. Get you back in your place. leads elsewhere. There's no other path, Eugene. There is. I understand. You're upset. I get it. But there's nothing you can do for Max now. Maybe not. But what kind of man would I be if I didn't try? One that's alive. If you stay here, they will kill you. I know it's not logical. But matters of the heart rarely are. I also know if I leave now, there won't be any kind of life worth living. Being with Maxine has made me better. Better than I ever thought it could be. And as such, I just don't see a path without her. I go where she is or I just end up who I was. Jane. When I was at my lowest, feeling like the posterior of some cosmic joke, you told me that my person was out there. And then I thought, and no, I didn't believe I trusted you because I always do. You were right. Well, now I need you to trust me. I, it's gonna be okay. It's not. You have to let me go. I'd like for you to give something to Coco for me. One day she'll have the style to pull this off. Make it like it after age 15. I surreptitiously made a recording of Sebastian Milton and played it at the Founders Day celebration. Furthermore, I confess to causing the unintentional death of Mr. Milton in the melee that followed. Anything else? Yes. I acted alone. Maxine Mercer may have been present, but had nothing to do with any of it. Take him. Consider how your actions might affect your brother. 